Hello, Linda. Where have you been, my girl? I haven't seen you for a long time. <laughs> Hi, Linda. How are you? Hi, Georgie. Hi, Fernando. Fine, Francisco, thank you. sorry. Okay. Hi. Long time without seeing you. Linda, what's going on? I haven't seen you for a long time. I miss you. All righty. Hello. How are you guys? Hi, teacher. Hi. Good we night. have, good night. We have Noah here. We have Francisco. We have Georgie. We do have Patty and Linda. Okay. We're missing somebody else. Georgie, what about your husband? He's going to join today's class? He has a dinner with the Spanish coach and oh. the other teachers. Oh my goodness, was his uh, 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 only he? What happened to you? Uh, one day is with the sensei. Mm -hmm. Are, okay, is uh, your husband a sensei? Oh, <gasps> wow. Okay, very good. Okay, what happened with Georgie? I think Georgie got frozen. Thank you. Don't worry, Georgie, take your time. Okay, now it's good, okay. <laughs> so one day with the sensei, that means your husband is a sensei? Is your husband sensei? Oh my goodness. So we need to be careful with him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Marlon said, yeah. And the other day is with what? With who? With with the coaches, I, I am coach. I am training the team, national team of Kara. Really? That's amazing. You're a coach. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can send me some tips to lose weight. <laughs> that's good. Very good job. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. All righty. Thank you. Are you guys prepared for today's class? Today's class will be so much fun. Yeah, you cannot imagine. You see, the teacher is really hyper today. Well, I always hyper, but I think I drink like a three Red Bulls. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. no. That's my normal one. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, Georgie will kill me if I do that. No way. Because first time, you're going to be high, and then with the Red Bull effect pass, you will be down. Oof. So no way. Yes. Mm -mm. No. So it's, it's not good for your health. No. Okay, guys, today we're going to learn a lot of things and we're going to put in practice. But most of the time, you will be listening, active listening. Today, I'm going to be a really hard teacher and I'm going to demand a lot from you. <laughs> Linda, what a beautiful day to enjoy class. Sorry. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Okay, after this class, guys, you will be able to do the activity of the section five. Today, we're going to talk about tell and ask. Tell and ask. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's do some practice right now. Oh, Jonathan is here. Patty. Hi, Patty. How are you? How are you today, Patty? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Um, uh, today is a day very hard. Really? Um, what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I work in Quisaltepeque. Mm -hmm. It's an installation water um, potable and mm -hmm. aguas negras. Oh, okay. Yes. It, was mm -hmm. it hard? Was it really hard yes. to do? Yes, it's a very hard. It's a, mm. La calle era angosta y el tráfico muy fuerte. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. So, you just have a ride back home? Acabas de llegar acá a la clase? Have a, just arrived back home? Sí, sí, acabo de ingresar a la clase, sí. Y ayer no pude por el rayo que cayó en el camión. Really? Nos quitaron la luz. Ajá, y como oh estaba lloviendo, God. no pude ingresar a la clase. Oh, okay, but, but you can uh, watch every time. You cannot, like, get into the class, but there's, like, the URL, uh, URL to YouTube link that you can check. Uh, every class, okay, so you don't miss the content. Mm -hmm. I think I sent it yesterday, but just in case, I'm going to send it. I sent it yesterday, right? To the WhatsApp, yes. right, guys? Okay, yes. so just click on that because it's going to be the same for every class, so you will be able to, to watch the video so you don't miss any content, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, guys, 
this is what we're going to do. I want you guys to have ready pen and pencil. I will give you three seconds to do that. Okay, you're already past the three seconds. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, please have something to write right now. Are you ready? Yes? Okay, Fernando, Francisco, Flor, Noah, Patty, Linda, yeah, everybody? Okay, yes, cool. teacher. Okay, so yes. this is what I want you to do. Pay attention to the conversation you're about to listen. Pay attention, okay? Because I'm just going to play that one time. And after that time, I will ask you a specific questions about that conversation. And I want you just to write the answers for the question that I'm going to make based on the conversation that you have listened, okay? So be, be really, really okay. paying attention, okay? No, no distractions, please. Okay, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me pop it up. All right, there you go. That's what I have here. Okay, let me share it right now my screen. There you go. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello, may I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. There you go. Only one time, right? Are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, teacher, you're bad. No, I'm not bad. I'm really good. Okay, guys. So this is the first question. I want you to write who the caller, la persona que estaba uh, hablando, who the caller was asking for. Por quien preguntaba. Write the name of the person. Okay, no, no me digan, just write it. No, don't tell me, just write it. Solo escribanlo. Second question. What was the name of the caller? ¿Cómo, cómo se llamaba la persona que hablaba? What's the name of the caller? No dijo el name, pero dijo el last name. Okay. What was the message? ¿Cuál era el mensaje? What was the message? Write it down, please. At what time was supposed to meet? And the last thing, what was his phone number? A callback number. Finish? No. no. Please repeat. <laughs> no, I'm not going to repeat. I'm just kidding. What was the callback number? The callback number. Aha! It's really hard, right? I know, I know, I know. Okay. That was the first exercise. Would you like me to repeat it one more time? No, right? Okay. Now, guys, let me ask you something. Who can tell me what was the name of the person who was asking for? ¿Quién por quién preguntaba? Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham or Mrs. Graham? Mrs. Muy bien. Very good. Miss. What was the name of the person who was calling? ¿Cómo se llamaba la persona que estaba hablando? The last name. Mr. Kale. Kale. Mr. Kale. Mr. Kale. Mr. Kale. Mr. Kale. How you spell it? ¿Cómo lo le, le, le letrean? How you spell it? K-A-L-E. K. K. K as in kilo. A-L-E. Very good. What was the message, guys? ¿Cuál era el mensaje? They have a meeting. They have a meeting. When? Cuando? 
on Friday. It's on Friday. Friday. Uh, two, thirty. Two, two, three. Very good. At two thirty. What was the phone number? <laughs> six, six four six. six. Five 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 four zero three one. Woohoo! My goodness, you are oh. an excellent receptionist. <laughs> Nada que están viendo la plataforma. Very good. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you are really good receptionist. Muy bien. Bueno, chicos, ¿qué les parece si we continue practicing, right? We continue practicing, ¿ok? Another is listening activity. Ajá, pero esta vez no está en la plataforma. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, guys, you're going to continue being a receptionist, ¿ok? Sí, van a ser de recepcionistas hoy. And it will be two conversations. Two different persons. ¿Sí? Y lo que les voy a mandar, the thing that I'm going to send it to you, será ya la paginita. La paginita donde usted solo tiene que completar la información que they're asking you. Pero, this is the tricky part. Esa es la, la parte tricky. La conversation, usted tiene que ponerle coco a la conversation. Porque la información no se la va a ir dando en orden. Ok, so you need to pay attention on the conversation. Para poder, as, poder responder, ¿ok? So allow me just a couple of minutes. Teacher, usted es mala. Yes, I am. Sometimes. Pero no tanto, ¿eh? Ok. Give me a couple of minutes. All right. ¿Alguna, alguna información ya está complementada. Otras no. Entonces usted tiene que complementar lo que hace falta. No, it's not this one. Ya se les iba a mandar al otro grupo. Imagínense qué barbaridad. Teacher, what, what happened to you? Okay, did you receive it, guys? Yes? Or no? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, tomen un minuto. Take one minute to read it. Para leerlo, read it. Read it. And then when you finish, let me know. Okay, is it good? Okay. Esos ejercicios son importantes, no porque usted sea un recepcionista o vaya a ser un recepcionista, sino que es bien importante saber cómo tomar nota de la información para el job que usted aplique, independientemente de qué job vaya a hacer. It's really important to develop that skill, ¿sí? Ahorita estamos viendo, ahorita estamos developing two skills, writing a skill and listening comprehension skill, ¿ok? Very good, guys. So, <clears throat> allow me just a couple of minutes. Let me share right now my screen. And then uh, I want you to pay attention on the information, okay? Just pay attention to the information. And please let me know if you're, if you're able to listen. Okay, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Just bear with me. I'm going to share right now my screen with you. Tell me if you are able to see it, okay? Can you see it, guys? Can yes? See it. Okay, can you see it? Yes? Yeah, teacher. Yes. Okay, listen carefully. No. Yes. Okay, don't worry if you don't see it. I just want you to listen to that, okay? And I will be nice. I'm going to play this audio two times, okay? Only two times. So... So my best recommendation for the first thing is that just don't focus on that information that you need to write down. Listen to the conversation, only listen. The second time, you will have time to write down the information that you need to, see? Primero, escucha la, the dialogue. No escriba nada. La segunda vez, escriba la información que está pendiente en las paginitas que les mandé. Y después vamos a share that information together, okay? Démosle. Exercise 11, listening. Taking a message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lynn and Ms. Carson. 
write down the messages. One. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lin, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lin is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 718-555-3200. Nine zero. 718-555-3290? That's it. Okay. I'll ask you to call you before 3.30, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Two. Number two. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. Ms. Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call <laughs> Sam at First National Bank? <laughs> Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-1187, extension 313. 914-555-1187, extension 313? That's right. Okay. I'll give her the message. Thanks so much. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, guys. I'm going to put it one more time, okay? There you Size go. 11, listening. Taking a message. Listen to telephone calls to Mr. Lin and Ms. Carson. Write down the messages. 1. Good afternoon, MBI. May I help you? Hello. I'd like to speak to Mr. Lin, please. I'm sorry. Mr. Lin is in a meeting right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. This is Mrs. Paris of City Car Center. Mrs. Paris. Is that P-A-R-I-S? Yes, that's right. Please ask him to call me at the City Car Center before 3.30 this afternoon. It's very important. All right. And your number, please? 718. Five 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 three two nine zero seven one eight five 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 three two nine zero. That's it. Okay, I'll ask him to call you before three thirty, Mrs. Paris. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, let's stop there right now. Let's answer the first part, okay, guys? The first dialogue. Let's answer it. There you go. Okay, guys, so the message goes to who? Mr. what? Mr. Lin. Mr. Lin, very Mr. good. Mr. Lin. Okay. From who? Mrs. Mrs. Paris. Paris. Mrs. Paris. Mrs. Paris. Mrs. Paris. How you spell her last name? P-A-R-A-S. Okay. City of what? Car Center. Call center. Call center or car center? Car center. Car center. You said car center like that? Okay. I All think. Right. Okay, what's the phone number? 718. Three two nine zero. Okay. And, yeah. uh, okay. What was the message? Ask call at to city call 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 center before three. Call at at city call center. Okay. Oops. Sorry. That has to be in here. City call center before before three before three three thirty three three or three thirty three thirty. 
Okay. Okay. But remember, guys, that we need to, uh, they, she said, please tell him, right? Please uh, ask him. Oh, ask him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ask him to call. To call. Okay. Okay. And this is, so this is the name of a, of a building or of enterprise. So it needs to be in capital letter. There you go. Okay, excellent job. Okay, let's move on to the second dial, okay? Okay. All right. Two. This is Software Systems. Good morning. Good morning. May I speak to Ms. Carson, please? Hmm. Do you mean Mrs. Carter? No, Carson. It's Wendy Carson. She's new there. Let me check. Oh, yes. Let me try to connect you. Hold on. I'm sorry. There's no answer. May I take a message? Yes. Would you please ask her to call Sam at First National Bank? Sam at First National Bank. The number is 914-555-555. 1187 extension 313 914-555-1187 extension 313 that's right okay i'll give her the message thanks so much bye goodbye okay so now guys uh-huh what was the name of the person? Wendy what? Wendy Carson. Wendy Carson. Okay. Who was calling? Sam. Sam. Yes. From from where? From first the first national, national bank. bank. First national, national bank. bank. Exactly. What was a Sam's phone number? Nine one four five 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 one eight one eight seven. Alrighty, very good. And tell me, what was what was the message? What was the message? Ask her to call. Ask her. Ask her to call. Okay, to call before any specific time or no? No. No, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. So you see, guys, it's really important. We have practiced that listening uh, uh, part. And guys, you have noticed that we have put in practice the words ask and tell. Okay, ask and tell. This is really hard part right now because they, somebody asked me, hey, I cannot do that part for the platform teacher. Yes, it's because we haven't seen that topic yet. But I told you that you're going to see it today. Ask and tell, guys. We use those expressions when we want to uh, give a message, but at the same time, to request somebody to do something for us. This is going to be really easy, guys. It's not complicated. You have heard in the dialogue, right? Ask and tell. Okay, so let me share right now my screen with you and let's double check really quickly that grammar part. It's really easy peasy queasy, okay? So don't, don't worry about that. It's really easy. You're really smart, so you're going to understand it woohoo, really fast. Can you see my screen, guys? Yeah or no? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, teacher. Yes. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good that you can see it, yay. That's what we saw yesterday. Okay, guys, so this is the first part. Okay, yes, you see? Messages with tell and ask. I mean, Sahas can tell and ask. Sometimes you confuse uh, those words, but today you're not going to confuse them, okay? Okay, guys. For example, the statement, the statement, la oración. ¿Cuál es la oración aquí, uh, Linda? Can you please be so kind to read it for me? Okay. Uh, the meeting is on Friday. Okay. La cosa es, el mensaje es, the meeting is on Friday. In Spanish is? La reunión. La reunión, la reunión es el viernes. El viernes. Exactly. Very good job. Okay. So, usted tiene maneras de poder dar el mensaje de que la reunión es on Friday. 
¿Cómo hará un mensaje cuando es un statement, cuando es una, una oración? ¿Sí? La, la reunión es el viernes. Ok. You have many ways to respond it or to tell them. Ok. A, a usted ahorita, mire qué es lo que va a usar cuando usted va a dar el mensaje de que la reunión está al día. ¿Qué word vamos a ocupar? Tell. 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 Decir. Mm. Ajá. Tell. Very good. Tell. Si usted lo quiere hacer más polite, usted puede usar la palabra please, could, or would. ¿Sí? Please es una palabra. Y could and would son lo que llamamos model, model what, guys? Model birds. Very good, very good. Sí, very good. Si usted usa please, después de please va a usar el tell. Y después va a usar el subject. ¿Sí? Y si usted yeah. usa could and would, usted va a usar el subject después de could and would y después va a usar el, la palabra tell. Okay? This is really important. Y después, ustedes, guys, you can say, tell her. Usted puede usar el pronombre, en este caso, her. Pero también puede usar la, el nombre de la persona. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir, please tell Linda, ¿sí? That the class is on Friday, por ejemplo. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? Yeah. Ahora bien, yes. algo que yo quiero que vean es esto. That. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Por qué creen que está en paréntesis? ¿Tiene idea? idea? Exactly. It's optional. Very good. Exactly, guys. Do me a favor. Wilfredo, are you there by any chance? Wilfredo, ahí estás. Are you there? No, right? Wilfredo is not there. Okay. Mm, Marlon, do me a favor. Could you please be so kind to read for me the first sentence? Así como está. Léemela, por favor. Okay. Please tell her that the meeting is on Friday. Okay. ¿Qué significa? What does it mean, Marlon, in Spanish? Por favor, dile a ella que la reunión es el, es el viernes. Muy bien. Very good. Now do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Hoy, vuélveme a leer la oración, pero sin el that. Please, please tell her the meeting is on Friday. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cambia el significado? No, it's yeah. the same. It's the same, right? Yeah. ¿Por qué le dice que leyera? Para que ustedes vieran que you can use that with, or you cannot use it. With or without it, okay? It's optional. But it's really, but, but it's, re, um, in my case, I use it. I use it because it's like more polite. Es más educado. Pero usted puede usar that or no that. Y lo, the meaning is the same. Ok, guys, pero esto es importante that you know cuando usted está usando un statement, es decir, una oración, ¿sí? Usted va a usar tell cuando usted quiere dar un mensaje. What about cuando usted está usando un request? ¿Qué es un request, guys? What is a request? Requisito. Request es como demandar Solicitud. algo, demandar algo. Solicitud. Okay? De una solicitud, exactly. Could you please be so kind to read for me the request and... Patty. Leeme el request, Patty, please. Patty, are you here, Patty? Or you're not here? Is Patty here? Creo que Patty no está aquí, ¿verdad? Ok, who else? Uh, no. Ricardo, do me a favor. Could you please read the request oh. for me? Message with a request. Yes, request. Yes. Please ask him to call me. No, 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 Ricardo. Afternoon. No, Ricardo, just the request. Lo que te estoy señalando ahorita. Let me see, let me see. Ok. Oh, yeah, another part. Call me this afternoon. Okay, call me this afternoon. Tú estás demandando que hagan qué contigo. What does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué significa en español? Que me regresen la llamada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Llámeme. Llámeme en la tarde. tarde. Very good, excellent. When you are uh, uh, making a request, guys, and if you want to leave a message, 
usted va a usar, mire qué va a usar, con messages, con requests, mire, ask, ¿sí? Ask. ¿Se acuerdan que con el statement era tell? Y hoy no. con un request es ask, ¿sí? E igual, usted puede usar el please, el could y el would, yes. Pero en este caso, ven que el to no es optional. ¿Sí? No es optional. Usted dice, please ask him to. Please ask her to. Please ask Ricardo to. Please ask Wilfredo to. ¿Sí? ¿Me entiende? Usted, usted después del ask va a usar el pronombre o el nombre de la persona. Pero vean que siempre es ask to. ¿Sí? Es diferente con tell. ¿Se acuerdan que el tell que ocupábamos decíamos con tell? That. 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 It was that. optional, yes or no? Yes. Yes, optional. yes it was optional, right? And the meaning doesn't change. Pero ven que en el caso de ask, usamos to, and is it optional, yes or no? No. 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 We need to Thanks. use it. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, we, please ask him, call me this afternoon. ¿Verdad que no suena bien? No. No. Se suena así no. como... Como que fuera el robot. Por favor, a, a, dile hablarme esta tarde. ¿Verdad? But if you said, please ask him to call me this afternoon, ahí sí suena mejor, ¿no? Yes. Yeah. Ok, do me a favor. Who can help me read it? Um, Cecilia. Could you please be so kind to read for me the first sentence? Very good, excellent. Now the next sentence, Georgie, please. Will you ask him to call me this afternoon? Okay, very good, Georgie, the pronunciation. Pero te acuerdas que esta es una pregunta, ¿no? ¿Puedes hacérmelo en tono de pregunta? Will you ask him to call me this afternoon? Very good, very good, Georgie. And then the last one, Abigail, could you please be so kind to read for me the third question? Uh, could, could you? No, the last one, would you? Would you? Uh, mm -hmm. Would you uh, tell me her that? No, no, no. Está aquí en, the, en, the, en lo que te estoy proyectando. Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? ¿Lo ves? Yes? Abigail? Okay, okay. okay. Would you, would you call me this afternoon? Would you, no, 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 no. Es, would you call me? No. Mira lo que está aquí. ¿Lo ves? Can you see it? ¿Puedes ver my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes. Okay, so I need the last information. Lo que te estoy haciendo ahorita aquí, grabatos, miren. Could you please be so kind to read it for me? ¿Lo ves, Abigail? ¿No? Uh, yeah. Quiero lo que, que me... Sombreadito que... en verde. Exacto. Eh, lo que se estoy moviendo ahorita. Quiero que me lo leas, please. Okay. Aquí ve uh, esto. Okay. Would you ask him to? Esto? Would you ask him to? Mm -hmm. Call me this afternoon. Call me the afternoon. Ok, hoy lo vas a hacer repetir, pero más fluently, ok? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Dilo otra vez. Would you ask him, him to call me afternoon? Otra vez, would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Will you ask him, him to call him afternoon? No, o, 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 escucha otra vez. Would you ask him? Will you ask him? To call me? To call me? This afternoon? This afternoon. Very good. Oh, no pronunciation, him. Ajá, no. Ya lo pronunciaste una vez. No lo tienes que volver a pronunciar. Vamos a pronunciar solo la parte negrita, ¿ok? Repeat after me. Would you ask him to? Would you ask him to? Call me this afternoon. 
call me this afternoon. Hoy vamos a repetirlo together, toda la pregunta, ¿sí? <laughs> Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this No, 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 only Abigail, only Abigail. Ya después oh. vamos a repetirlo todo. Ya se me emocionaron. No way. Okay. okay. Would you ask him, him to call me this afternoon? Very good, very good, Abigail. Okay, now yes, everybody. Now it's time for everybody to practice the pronunciation, okay? Ya vi que al calentar un motor, so you're ready? Entonces vamos a aprovechar esa energy that you have, okay? Okay, but now guys, because I know that you want to help Abigail, I know that. Vamos a primero practicar this thing, okay? Primero, la parte de statement. Okay, repeat after me, the first sentence. Please tell her that meeting is on Friday. Please. The meeting Please. is on Friday. Ah, no, solo the meeting is on Friday. I want to listen the whole statement. Don't do that one. Please tell her that meeting is on Friday. Please tell her that meeting is on Friday. Please tell her that meeting is on Friday. Meeting is on Friday. Very good. Please tell her the meeting is on Friday. What happened, Georgie? Why the first statement don't have question mark? Doesn't mm. have. Ah, porque si tú te fijas, no es pregunta. Es solo no, es una oración. Dile. Por favor, dile que... Informativo. Ajá, es como informativo. Por ah. favor, dile que la reunión es on Friday. Pero... Las otras dos, tú le estás preguntando. Mira, could you? Could you? ¿Podrías decirle? ¿Sí? La segunda es, could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Repeat after me, please, guys. Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Muy bien. La segunda oración, George, significa ¿podrías decirle a ella que la reunión es el viernes? Hoy vamos con la otra. Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Now, without it, would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Right. Very good. Alguien me dijo, teacher, yes, go ahead with your question, please. I think it's, uh, it's me, Richard. Uh -huh. Richard, Ricardo, go ahead. Uh, now, uh, the statement number two and number three. Uh -huh. uh, uh, can, can I, can I the, the, the meaning is like a suggestion? No es una suggestion. Es, es okay. una manera más, de, más polite. De, 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 de dar el mensaje. ¿El mensaje cuál es? The meeting is on Friday. La reunión es on Friday. Si usted usa could and you and would, usted dice, could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? ¿Podría decirle que la reunión es el viernes? Pero si utiliza usted would, que es otro uh, modo verb, would es más educado todavía. Y usted le dice, ¿podría usted decirle a ella que la reunión es on Friday? ¿Sí? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? ¿Sí? ¿Me entiende? ¿Me entiende yeah, la diferencia? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pero esto usted va a ocupar tell on Friday. y that o no that cuando usted, el mensaje que usted tenga que dar es una sentence. Es como algo informativo. ¿Sí? Pero yeah. cuando usted, el mensaje que tenga que dar es porque usted, alguien está demandando algo de usted. En este yes. caso es call me this afternoon, llámame esta tarde. Usted va a usar ask, ¿sí? Ask yes. to. Y este no es opcional. Es obligación que lleve. Repeat after okay. me. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Very good. And the last one. Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? ¿Podrías preguntarle si me habla esta tarde? Oh, mi amiga. Would you ask him? Ajá, más polite, ¿verdad? This afternoon. The international is... 
the intonation is different. Exactly. Yes, that's why I, I ask you to repeat it because it's really important to put the correct intonation. This Aston? If you are saying a statement or if you're asking a question, okay? Okay, guys, let's continue. Let's have a writing activity, okay? Bear with me for a moment. Okay, guys, vamos a jugar algo. Scrabble. Es, es scrabble, eh, scrabble significa en orden. Entonces, ¿qué significa unscrabble? Desorden. Exacto. Unscrabble. Estos son one, two, three, four, five, six messages. Son mensajes, guys. Aquí están, aquí está la oración completa, pero está My en disorder. Y lo que quiero It es is. que la pongan en orden. Ok. So this is what I'm okay. going to do, guys. This is going to be a writing activity. Se la voy a mandar ahorita por WhatsApp, right now. And you will have right two minutes. Only two minutes. That's two enough. Minutes. Two, three, two. Three. Right. And for me, three minutes. Okay, would you like three minutes, Cesar and Ricardo? Okay, I'm going to be a nice minute. teacher, okay? Just because of you. One minute for okay. each sentence. I know to uh, for the example. Come on, Ricardo. No seven, way. Seven no minutes. No way. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. I'm doing that not because I'm I'm a bad teacher. It's because you need to get used to do things in a in a <coughs> in a less short time. Okay, it's really important. Okay, so bear with me for a couple of minutes. Let me send it right now, guys. The screen. Okay, this is the writing exercise. These uh, sentences are in disorder. I want you to put it in order and I will give you three minutes, okay? Counting Ready? right now. Yes. Okay, so work hard and see you in three minutes. I'm going to be here in case you need to ask something. But please work alone. Yes. No copy. And don't ask for cheating, okay? Mandame la copia, Marlo. No way. <laughs> <laughs> My God. That's easy peasy queasy Caesar Ricardo. Come on. Same <laughs> on you. No, I'm just kidding. Oh my God. Boy. Not taking tinta, teacher. I know. That's an excuse. Come on. But you have a computer. Seal. Seal is. A ver quién se ve en chueco y me da la información corre incorrecta. Ajá. My God. Yes. Yo. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why not? Why? It's easy. Do your best. Okay. Okay. Oh, my God, me, you. Do your best, sir. Don't fall asleep. In 17 for me. In One seven. more minute. <laughs> Mm. 
my God. Neuronas. It's difficult. All right. I know, but that's why it's really important that you uh, uh, play these games. Okay. okay. You cannot imagine how many games we're going to play like this when if we were alive. Ooh, oh. It's very hard for me. <laughs> I know, maybe for some of you are, but it's, it's really important that you try. <laughs> do your best, okay? Don't feel bad if you can just do it one or two sentences. That's okay. As long as the sentences are okay, we're good. Time is over. Sorry for that. Woohoo! Yeah, don't worry, okay? Don't worry. I know that it's really hard, some, some of you. Yes, I'm worried. But, okay, if you do not finish the, uh, all of the sentences, you, you, you can do it at home for writing, practicing, okay? Because it's really important. Okay, don't worry. Okay, the first one, guys, was tell that is please Ryan the barbecue on Saturday. What will be the, the correct um, message, guys? Remember, tell. That means that you're using a statement, okay? So, give me the correct sentence, Linda. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, please tell Ryan the barbecue is on Saturday. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very My good. God. Do me a favor, Linda. Could you please be yes. so kind to write the sentence on the chat so everybody can have it? Yes. Uh, okay. Write it right now, please. And the WhatsApp or in the chat? No, Zoom. In, in Zoom chat. Okay. Chat. Okay. Okay. Your best. Okay. Next one, number two. We have a. Uh, uh, call me at twelve. You, Padre, could ask too. So now, guys, remember, we're going to ask. We use ask because we need to make a request. And. Erika, can I have number two, please? <laughs> okay, do your best, Erika. Come on. Would you ask Patrick to call me at, at 12? Okay, at 12. 12. Uh -huh. At 12. Uh -huh. yes. uh -huh. Very good, but remember cool. that but that is a question. So I want to say it again, but with question intonation, please. Uh, but no, it's uh -huh. Well, the question mark is not that. <laughs> I know that it's not there, but you're supposed to know it because you're using could. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could ask Patrick to call me at 12? Very good. Write it on the chat, please. Okay. Very good, Linda. Please tell Ryan the barbecue is on Saturday. Very good, except for one thing, for two things, Linda. Yes. Primero, if you're using please and you're studying a sentence, the P has to be capitalized. Okay. P mayúscula. And then Saturday is a name, a proper name. So it has to be mayúscula. capital S. Exactly. Yes, I know. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, very good. That's why we're practicing writing, guys, to develop yeah. writing skills. But, but very good. Very good, Linda. Okay, what about you, Erica? Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, now I want number three. Let me check. Could you ask Patrick to call me at 12? Very good. Excellent job. Good job. Okay. Uh, Hermes. Number three. No, no Is that Amy tonight? Could you no the sé. dance perform Pero until? Qué pasan? Si no están aquí, es que se los llevan. Okay. Mm. What would be the right sentence? Let me write. Oh, the question. Sorry. Uh -huh. uh, could you tell that tonight is dance performance? Could you tell, uh huh? Could you tell who? You're missing Amy. Could you tell, uh huh? That? Are you sure? El sujeto, lo, cuando usamos could, va antes del tell o va después del tell? Cuando usamos could. Después del tell. Are you sure? No. Are you sure, guys? Could tell Amy that. Ajá, that. exactly. Could tell. 
Could you tell Amy that, okay. That mm -hmm. the dance performance is the tonight. Performance. Very good. Okay, excellent. Le voy a mandar la información, okay, Hermes? He's already on the, on the WhatsApp group. He's already on the WhatsApp group. Ven cuando usan could you? Could you. Uh -huh. Okay, now, uh, could you tell me? Okay, Hermes, based on the information, I want you to send, to write the, the question on the chat, ¿sí? Es la número tres. Mándala por el chat. Vamos a continuar. Uh, number four, Marlon, tell is Celia in the park, would you, that the picnic? Would you tell Celia that the picnic is in the park? Very good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and you can put that in parentheses, okay? Because okay. you can use it or you cannot use it. Okay, so please okay, we'll write it write it down on the chat. And number five, Georgie, you want to give a try? Number five? Georgie. I think Georgie is frozen. And yes, number five, Georgie. Please ask Jason to bring the tickets to the rock concert? Uh, no, number five. Ah, what else? <laughs> will, you, <laughs> will you ask Noriko to? Ay, Dios. To, Meet yeah. me at the stadium? Very good. Write it on the chat, please. Write it on the chat. And don't forget about capital letters, guys, and question marks. Very good. And number six, Flor. What about number six? Flori. Hi, Flori. How are you, my girl? I think Flori is not here. Okay. What about you, Noah? Number six. Yes, please. Please ask to Jason to bring the tickets to the rock concert. Very good. Okay. I want you to write it on the chat, please. Would you tell us? Oh, my God. Who's ringing? Sorry. 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 Something happens with my ears right now. Oh, casi me quedo sorda. All right, very good. Would you tell Celia that the picnic is on? Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's in the park. Very good. Very good, Merlin. Would you ask Noriko to meet me at the stadium? Very good. Very good, Georgie. Okay, I'm missing. I'm missing number six. What happened? The six is mm -hmm. the concert. Yes. I think Noah. No answer that. Yes, I know. Uh huh. Please ask to Jason. Uh, to, uh huh. Please ask Jason. Uh huh. Please ask Jason to bring it. Uh huh. Ah yes, no, Noah. Uh huh. Question. Yes, uh -huh. Noah. Please write it down again because you made a mistake right now. Do it again. Please ask Jason. Ask Jason to bring the tickets no, to. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then, uh -huh. and you said, Joe, the, Joe, the rocket sensor. So do it again. Write it again, please. Very good. Hermes, let me check Hermes. Aha. Uh -huh. Hermes, you need to write it again. Oh, almost perfect, but something's missing there. Something's missing. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry. That's why we're writing practices. We need to develop the writing skills. You're doing great, guys. I'm so happy. You're doing great. Very good job. Oh my no, God. Ask Jason. Okay, please. please ask. Everyone. Yes, please <laughs> ask again, uh, Noah, until you write it perfectly. Yes, Please that teacher ask. is really hard. Right, Georgie? That teacher is really hard. But with me, you're going to write English correctly. That's my purpose, that you write it correctly, that you develop your skills in the right way. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm waiting for Mr. Mar. No, Marlon, we have it here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Aha, uh -huh. Hermes, I want you to send me the sentence again or the question, sorry, again. Um, I try to. Do your best, I know you can do it. Check the information that I send you in the WhatsApp and you know, and then you do it. This is, this uh, is, uh, exercise are really good, right guys? These are really good because you need to like, yes. yeah, you need to use your imagination and your brain and very good. Okay, please ask Jason to bring the tickets. Ah, aha, se te fue el tu otra vez. Again, Noah, please. Again? Oh, the, yes, and you do it perfect. Y se te va el yo, estás frita. I'm just kidding. She's really hard. Yes, I'm a really hard teacher. Do your best. And the adolescent, check it out, just in case, right? Uh -huh. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it, guys. Yes. Okay. Okay, we're missing just Noah. Okay, please ask Jason to bring the tickets to the concert. Okay. Almost, no, almost perfect. You're missing something. Punto. Exactly. I know. Exactly. Aha. Uh -huh. And if you know why well, you didn't do it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yeah, I know. Conmigo ustedes van a, you're going to dream about punctuation with me, ¿sí? Van a, van a soñar con punctuation with me. But guys, that's the purpose. That you'll develop your listening, your writing, your speaking, and your reading in a great way, okay? Remember, guys, that at the beginning of the model, I told you, I don't want quality, quantity of knowledge. I want quality of knowledge. Maybe you know a few things, but you know them and you know them well. So that's what I want. Okay, guys, very good. Tomorrow, guys, we are going to develop our speaking. Our speaking. Today we develop the writing and the listening part. Tomorrow will be a speaking. So we're going to speak and speak. We're going to put a practice what we have seen today about ask and tell. Hey, what happened, Hermes? I'm missing yours. Do your best, do your best. I know you can do it. Yeah, but I think you need, uh, could you tell? Ah, uh, no. That will be your homework for tomorrow. The first thing you're going to write the question in the chat, okay? On the chat, please, okay? Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, okay guys, tomorrow we're going to do a lot of things. Guys, tomorrow we're going to play as a receptionist. Okay, we're going to make phone calls, okay? okay <laughs> so be teacher. prepared for tomorrow because we're going to practice what we have seen today. So my best recommendation is that you double check the, the grammar part that I sent it to in the WhatsApp because you would need it. Definitely okay. you would need it, okay? Okay, guys, okay. any questions, any doubts that you might have for the day by any chance? Any regrets? No? Everything. Everything, it's Ricardo. Clear. Okay, it's Ricardo, clear. come on. Clear. Everything is clear, it's like horchata or like a water? Water like is clear. Orchata. Like horchata. Okay, thank you, Caesar. Thank you, Ricardo. You're my besties. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Okay, guys, it was a pleasure to have you one more time. Okay, only one day is resting to finish the model. Okay, mm. hopefully you have learned a little bit, okay? Okay, guys, it was a pleasure to have you. I know that you're tired and maybe you're Please. hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, guys, so it hugs and kisses. And see you tomorrow, okay? Have a lovely night. Bye-bye.